Welcome to Radicards TV on Radicards.com. I'm your host, Patrick, and this is Dan Grinell with Sports Securities. How's it going? What's going on, Dan? What's up, Pat? How you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. So tell us, Dan, what did you bring today? So uh, I brought three things, um, and they're all things I want to complain about. Okay. So... <laughs> bring on the complaints. And, and it's not um, screw downs, so, you know, it's kind of cool. All right, change it up. So the, so the first thing I brought is um, this TriStar Signa Cuts, uh, cut signature of Mike Flanagan, um, who was the 1979 AL Cy Young Award winner, right? Uh, it's it's a very nice picture uh, that's been autographed that they cut and put into this card. Uh, I believe it's numbered to 70. No, I'm sorry, 75. And, and I love the placement of, of the signature and, and, and the centering of the picture. It's a great shot of this guy's crotch. I think it's fantastic. You can see his cup. You can see pretty much everything there. And uh, I, I'm just baffled that they would choose this piece to put on there. You know, I, I guess they just do what they have to do to, to, to produce the product and get it out. But you would think somebody would have looked at that and said, hey, this is on this guy's Johnson. Let's not put this in a, in a product. But there it is, right? Um, so, I have very limited uh, um, experience with this product. I never opened any. This is something I acquired in a collection, and uh, you know, so I'm not familiar with it too much. But you would think that it it would have been, you know, smart not to put a guy's crotch on there. The Mike you Flanagan know. crotch card. The Mike Flanagan crotch card. So, it's my understanding TriStar didn't get uh, MLB and MLBPA licensing, which is why they, you know, they have to work with what that, that those parameters look like. Mm -hmm. And in this capacity, obviously there aren't any team logos on the guy's crotch. Not the best picture. I wouldn't want a card with a guy's yeah. crotch on it. Um, but, you know, in these SignaCuts cards, they take kind of like buybacks, and they like cut right. them in certain ways to fit in this, this window here. Um, and then they have the players sign them or have them sign them and they cut them to fit in. Right. So, um, not my favorite release by any means because it's just, I, I don't want picture pieces of pictures of players. Yeah, I'm with you on that. You know, and, and I, it just it takes away the, the excitement out of pulling something. Like an autograph on a guy's shoe is just not exciting to me. Right. Like in this case, autograph on a guy's like hamstring is, is not important yeah, or his not. junk I've met a lot of people that have pulled this these kinds of cards and opened this product and I haven't met I'm yet to meet one that actually likes this product yeah the TriStar Signa cuts I hear a lot of just complaints about the product itself that's what we're doing here right all right great stuff thank you all right, Dan. sure so so the other two are, are a pair um, and, and and I guess the complaint here is is something that you and I have talked about several times, and and that is you know one of the big manufacturers tops, you know they they just sometimes just get so lazy, and, and it's so frustrating because you know they do ha have a, a dominant share of, of the market, you know it's a historic name, and and sometimes they take a good idea and they just totally drop the ball on it. Um, and, and, it, and it's mainly because of laziness, you know, and, and I don't know how much of it you can blame on them on this issue, but I, I think they do have some, some part in, in, in this complaint that I have. So let's get to the cards here. In this collection that I recently brought, bought, there were a couple of um, sketch cards, and so they're actually kind of cool. So here's the first one. Um, th these were out of 2000, what did I tell you, 2008 uh, Tops Update, and um, the artist is Dan Day. He, he's done a few things, um, such as these Topps baseball sketches. I know he does some Star Trek stuff for Rittenhouse, and he does um, Conan things for Rittenhouse. Um, and, and I think they're cool sketches, but the problem is when you look at the card, there, there's no indication as to who the player actually is, right? So you, you flip it to the back of the card, and there's a nice little message from Tops that reads, you know, this is an authentic Top sketch card uh, containing a hand-drawn piece of art inspired by a professional athlete of Major League Baseball. So I did some research and I looked around and it's a pretty extensive set. They're all one-of-ones. Nowhere on the card does it indicate that it's a one-of-one, one, right? And every card is assigned to a specific player. So you can, you can go online, you can find the checklist. I think there's like 
90 players in the in the set and and some of them have multiple cards right as as this one does um and and, and i thought they were awesome but there, there's just you have no idea who it is it doesn't tell you who it is it doesn't tell you that it's a one of one and there's no number so you can check it to the checklist you know i, I just think it's just a, a, a lazy lazy approach uh so here's the second one uh, it's the same player. You can you can tell by looking at the two cards side by side that that they are of the same player, um, but you just don't know who it is. So um, you know, I did I did some research. I did look. Uh, you and I were debating. You know, uh, what team they were from. I, I've come to the conclusion that I believe it is the Red Sox, but I don't know for sure. Um, and uh, you can tell from this second one here that I'm showing that this is obviously a pitcher. So the possibilities, you know, in 08, you know, are, are, are limited. Um, my first impulse was, was that it was Kurt Schilling, but it's, he's not in the checklist. Um, and then I thought maybe Clay Buchholz, he's not on the checklist. So I was looking at it, there's Josh Beckett and Jonathan Papelbon. You know, I did some research. Um, they both, in the, in the picture, clearly have a chain. Um, and and there's some facial hair there, and so I think I've come to the conclusion that it's Josh Beckett, uh, and then that's what I'm going to say. It's Josh Beckett, but it's hard to say, you know. And what's what's really sad is that uh, some of the stuff that was in the set, like if you go and look at other players, uh, the artists actually made a little notation as to who it was. You know, they would write on there that it was you know Dice K or that it was, you know. Derek Lee or whoever, right? And uh, you could actually, you know, say this is a sketch card of so and so. Sure. And here you can't. Yeah. It's really hard. No, you and I both know this is David Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the theme here that is uh, relevant. But of all the, the drawbacks, the one that is uh, somewhat upsetting is that we don't know who it is. Yes. And and then if you're a player collector, and this was in fact drawn from say uh it was josh beckett yeah uh an image then if you're a josh beckett collector and you wouldn't know that this is one of the cards you'd want to get in your collection because there's because there's, there's no there's no uh, there's no uh, way to identify the who's who here and uh, to my understanding going forward i think tops corrected that with other sketch cards i, I believe so i believe so because i think the 09s they actually stamped one of one on them mm -hmm. and um they they would say who it was sure yeah, I've got some Thomases like that. Yeah. Well, those are cool. Well, thanks, Dan. Sure. Not a problem. Good stuff. We'll move it around. Less complaining. <laughs> More showing off. More showing off. But Do just, it. Really, I'm going to give credit to a a, 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 a YouTube subscriber, uh, Nate at Tops85401. He sent these to me. Thank you, Nate. Uh, these are from 2008 Moments and Milestones. Just a couple that I needed that he had, so he just sent them my way. Strong. This is a set that people either hate or love. I don't collect it with any degree of strength. Right. I just pick them up when I see them for cheap. I seek them out on sales when they're free shipping. Right. Uh, when COMC has you know their spring cleaning thing, I work on those that way. They're you know um, they have a holiday sale. I work on them then. But I, I have a threshold. I don't spend a certain over a certain amount on on these, and uh, there are just so many of them. And they're obviously a I don't expect to finish all 4,000 different versions of this right. card. It's actually more than 4,000. I'm glad to have these whenever people want to donate them and help me out with the set. Uh, I'm very grateful. So thank you again, Nate, for these three cards. Really, really appreciate that. They're going to go up on the museum. And these other two, um, we got, I I'm working on the set from 96 uh, Zenith. It's the Diamond Club Parallels, okay? So they did the Diamond Clubs with the refractor finish, and then they did, did these parallels that showcase the diamond embedded into the card. Now, I always thought these were really cool if they had the refractor finish, but I understand that they need to differ differentiate from the base to the parallel because um, it would be easy to fake these with pe without people knowing. Right. Um, if you get the base and you try to embed a, uh, a, little rock, in a rock into it, you'd know it's fake because the, 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 the parallel version it doesn't have the refractor finish. So, these are rad. I still need five more cards in the set. I'm just, just, just keep an eye out on them. Uh, I'm not going to mention which players because for the obvious reason. Yeah. Um, but uh, I got the Albert Bell. So, it's, it's rare. I've been working on a set for, for a number of years, and um, it's just slow going. Probably I've been working on the set since 2010. 
I'd say. So it's been, been a number of years, but glad to have picked up Albert Bell. And I'll keep my eyes off the other five. And I also picked up this. Um, I, I already have this card, you know, but I just, I, I sometimes pick up graded stuff sometimes, it's very rare. If you've watched my videos before, you know I have a very picky attitude when it comes to graded. Uh, but every now and then I'll come across a card that I just love so much and I love seeing and it's, you know, for the price, the graded copy, I figured I'd add it to my graded, my, my very modest graded archive. Right. Uh, so I picked this up. This is from 1996 Donruss Power Alley. This is the die cut version. It's BGS 9. Now the die cuts exist in the first 500 of a print run of 5,000. 10% of print run. So um, these are great, fantastic looking cards. I just love the finish on these guys. Okay, I'm going to move it a little bit here so you can kind of see what it does. I just think these are fantastic looking cards. Awesome, awesome stuff. And it just takes it takes a great looking card and makes it even better. Yeah. I with, the, with the die cuts. I just think they're cool. Um, thought for a while about trying to piece together the set, but I've got other projects I'm working on. Those are great cards. Love them. Don Russ. I really miss Don Russ. Um, the 90s version of Don Russ. Even the early 2000s when they did the... 2000 and 2001 retro cards. Um, it's great looking, solid design, emphasis on quality. Uh, I just really appreciate the company. Yeah, those are, that's cool. Yeah. So that's what we have to showcase for you today. Danny, any final thoughts? No, I'm, I think I'm good. All right. Just don't take, you know, pictures and cut the guy's crotch out and make it into a card. That's the lesson of the day. <laughs> don't cut out pictures of baseball players' crotches and have them sign them. That's right. That it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> and if you're going to draw pictures of baseball players, um, help people identify them easily. That's that's the other lesson. That would be the other yeah. lesson. Yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of Radicards TV on radicards.com. And until next time, enjoy collecting. Take care.